So one problem that quite often happens with these number zero uh, long spring traps is you'll have it set, the jaws will be down in that, and then you push the pan down and the dog will be able to move up. It's not holding the dog down, but the jaws won't go up. Now basically that's because these springs aren't very stout at all. So what you gotta do is pop the jaws out, take the spring off, and take all the corners off of the jaws, the spring eyes, and the plate here. I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. You gotta compress the spring. You can do this by hand, but I like to use a clamp so I can have all my hands on taking the jaws out. All right, and then you're gonna wanna take this, put it over the jaws. And you don't wanna compress these too much because you can actually bend the jaws, and I've done that before. Now that you've got that done, you can pull those jaws out, take the spring off, there we go. And I believe the uh, top eye of the spring is different from the bottom, so you want to keep track of that. You're going to want to use a round file, regular mill file to take all the corners off. And then I'll do that and come back uh, with you guys with the result. Alright, so... Once you've cleaned up the top and bottom edges of the, uh, you know, the spring eyes and the base and the jaw, uh, the part of the jaw where the spring contacts it, I would encourage you while you have the spring off to swap the this part here, the swivel and the part that goes over the spring, over to the left side. That's simply because it holds better that way. When an animal gets pulling, it'll pull this way into the spring, and when the jaws are in the spring. They can't open because the ring, because of the ring. They like physically can't open because the ring would have to break for them to open. Whereas on this side, if an animal is sliding, you, they can flex just a little bit and the hold isn't as good. So since you have it hard to swap over the swiveling point, there isn't really any disadvantage that I can see. Pretty much the only difference is it'll hold a little bit better. So once you do that, of course you take your springs I mean your jaws, slide those inside the spring, and then of course shove them in. Anyway, you get the picture. I should have compressed the spring first, compress it, uh, put the jaws in, compress uh, the jaws, and then align them, and let them go and they'll pop in. And if they ever are bent too inward, I've taken the corners of a vise and spread the vise out. Uh, while the jaws in the trap if it was too short just to get it to fit it in and then of course you can also bend the tips of the uh, jaws up when they stick outside the frame you can bend those up so that you know it might be less likely to pull out you're not really going to deal with anything like that on tr small traps like this but it's not going to hurt anything it's mainly with uh, bigger coyote traps where they will uh, where coyotes will pull the jaws out so anyway thank you guys for checking out the video I encourage you to check out some of my other trapping videos as they might be uh, useful as well. God bless and see you on the next one.